Hi, this is Tom Raybo from BringTheNoiseUK.com and I'm here with Johan from uh, Amon Amarth at Bloodstock. So, uh, Johan, how's the day gone so far? You guys must be preparing for your show in just a, a matter of hours, really. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think we're on at 10 to 7 tonight, so yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know what time it is, but <laughs> it's... it's, it's uh, the preparation so far has been uh, consisting of interviews, more or less. So yeah, yeah. just doing a, a lot of the press. A lot of press, press yeah. But it's cool. It's cool. It's great. The stuff that you have to do to, yeah, get, yeah. to get up there to do yeah, what, yeah. You, you, what you want to do, I yeah, guess. Of course, yeah. But I love it, and it's, it's awesome. And, uh, is this coming on a long tour, or is this just kind of like a, well, sort of a one-off little? Well, we've we've had um, I don't know. 500 festivals this summer. <laughs> That's a it good feels, number of it, festivals. It feels like it anyways. No, but we've had festivals almost every weekend, so in a sense it's almost like a tour, but it's been mostly flying in and out from, uh, and from Sweden. From, from the festival uh, lineups that you've been in with, it, have you had like a real nice kind of family atmosphere? I know that um, we had uh, we had Entombed and Apocalyptica yeah. here yesterday. Yeah. Do, do you guys get to catch up with those guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you've, All you've the, worked in yeah, the past with them as well. Every once in a while, definitely, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's too bad that uh, that they weren't weren't here today because oh. uh, maybe we could have uh, arranged something since they were guest artists on our album. But yeah. um, you know that's the way it works sometimes, and sometimes you win and sometimes yeah. you ain't. So yeah. But it, it's it's um, it's really uh, it's really cool to to catch up with old friends and yeah. and meet new cool pe- people when you go out in festivals and. That's probably apart from the actual shows, what what really is most enjoyable, I think, to hang out with. And what with have people. you got in store for us tonight? When you guys come onto that <laughs> stage, what, what are we going to see from you? It's it's going to hopefully be a, a pretty energetic show. I know I'm well rested and ready to go. So psyched and pumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 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 going to be as, as far as stage setups. It's going to be fairly simple, I think, but it's it's going to be a good show. And uh, are, you, are you hanging around after, or is it back uh, to the airport, jump on a plane, and next festival? Yeah, unfortunately um, for us, uh, our shuttle is like one after we play <laughs> to back to the hotel, so I'm going to catch a bit of uh, Satyricon and, oh, wicked. and then, and then enjoy, get back to so, it. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of this and yeah. a little bit of that. That sounds wicked. And, um, I, I've been walking, I, I don't know if you've had a chance to walk around out, no, not, outside. Not, not at all, um, no. There's a. Uh, there's a stack of axes and furs, and you know, when you when you're on that stage and you look out and you see these guys that have, have viking themselves up yeah. for the day, how does that make you you, you guys feel inside? Is that kind of that's that's really cool? Seriously, I mean that that goes to prove that we have a lot of dedicated fans out there. You know? Yeah, because I um, mean, you guys have been doing this for quite a long time, really. And yeah, it's we're on. Uh, what is it, like our 17th year now, I think? 17 years. Or 18th, actually. And now we're starting to see you crop up on the covers of Metal Hammer yeah, yeah, yeah. and Kerrang! and then things like that. Does, does that kind of, does that make it feel like it's all been worth it? Because there must have been some times oh, yeah. when you were sitting there thinking, like, why, are we, <laughs> why are we sitting in the back yeah, of a yeah, van yeah. sleeping? Yeah, we, we, had, we, had, uh, we had a few moments. Well, I, actually, it was like after, before we recorded Versus the World, which was the fourth album, we said, "All right, this is it. This is going to be the last album we do." Do or die. If this doesn't yeah. do it, then. And uh, well, we technically said, "All right, let's do one more, and then that's it." And then things just started to happening for us. Uh, first in, in uh, Central Europe, but then it started to spread. And with the two last albums we did, we got a good uh, foot into the UK, of course, and started rolling here and in the US. It started growing really fast, so. It's been going really fast the last two albums, and uh, it's uh, it makes all the hard work worth it, you know. Yeah, and, and do you, do you see yourselves pushing yourselves further up this bill? I, mean, I hope so, but you never know. I mean, we we uh, we're, we're going to continue doing what we like to do and what we do best, and try to uh, write as good albums as we can and put on great shows in the future. So hopefully, hopefully more people will get into us. But you never know. You know it's not like we're going to change or anything. It's just try to be better at what we do. Yeah. So when when you guys are when you guys are sitting down writing, do you have like do you have a process for that? Is there do you have specific songwriters in the band, or do you all take little bits and say bring it to the table and say this is what I've got? Well, do we te- want to work on this? Do we want? Yeah. To- technically, uh, like the guys writing most of the music is uh, Olavi, our guitar player, and the other guitar player John, and um, I write most of the lyrics. But we. We sort of rehearse. We do like 
I know a lot of bands today, they don't go to rehearsal rooms, they just write at home and then they meet in the studio. But we always go to rehearsal room and try to, to work out the best way for the song to develop and, and try to be involved, all of us. So, so you get that vibe rather yeah, than so yeah. I've heard I mean, you for, for us, for us that's, that's, I think that's the best way to work for us and that's what we felt, feel comfortable with. Uh, so um, that's how we work normally. Um, so, so over the next year, what, what, what are the plans for, for after festival season's done? Do you well, guys get vacation time? Or yeah, we have, we have, a, we have a, about a month of vacation. Uh, and then we're coming here to the UK again, actually. Coming yeah. to tour us again. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. yeah we're, going, to dust we're coming to see you again, UK. Yeah. <laughs> no, but we're going to do a, a UK and Ireland tour, uh, supported by Entombed and Evile, which I think is going to be a great package. Uh, it's, uh, you know, Entombed are... It's it's uh, like we're big fans. Well, of yeah, course. we saw them it's here yesterday, band. and uh, yeah, and, yeah, it and, did and, take you back to, to yeah. the time when in two were and top to have a pile. To have them support us is just well, it's plain weird, but it's it's great that they're willing to do that, and I think it's going to be a great package. And the Evil guys guys seem to be great guys as yeah, well. So, up with their yeah, second album. Stuff yeah, and, uh, so so it's it's going to be a really interesting package, and and then we have a after that we do a Scandinavian run and a like a France, Italy, uh, Switzerland, and like Belgium, Holland run, and then we're heading off to. Uh, we also have a show in in India actually. In, really? Yeah. <laughs> so that's not a name you see much on uh, tour itineraries. Is no, it? no, no. We're going to Goa to play at a festival there. Really? Yeah. It's just kind of weird. Have you, have you got kind of expectations for that, or are you kind I, of? Like, I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. What's no idea what's going to happen. We're just going to try we're and gonna go there and sucker. see what happens, man. <laughs> Wicked. So you're going to kick our asses today, and then it's uh, it's back on the road and. Back yeah. playing shows. That's that's the idea. Yeah. Sounds like the life, man. Well, Hell yeah, man. Thank you very much for your hey, time. Thank you. This is uh, this is Tom Raybould from BringTheNoiseUK.com, and I'm here with Johan from Amon and Marth, and we're at Bloodstock. Hell yeah.